It's a sad night in the natural state as an Arkansas Hall of Fame boxer passes away. A man who touched many lives right here in our state. You got that right. Our Riley Birdwell went out and spoke to loved ones of Ray Rogers. And Riley, definitely an emotional day for them and many others. Absolutely, Kevin. I interviewed several people that loved Rogers deeply and they were very emotional talking about him. They talked about his impact on boxing and how his legacy goes outside of the ring as well. Ray Rogers is widely known around the state, nation, and boxing rings. You go out and stay anywhere, know this, Ray Rogers. For his passion for boxing, but most importantly, kids. He'd go into Highland Courts with a van, and back in those days, Highland Courts wasn't a great place to be after 6 o'clock in the evening. And he would pick kids up, bring them to the gym, get them home by 10, and a lot of those kids kept out of jail. After his passing early Tuesday morning, people who worked alongside him say it's been a hard day. He was just the person that is going to be very, very hard to forget if you ever had the pleasure of knowing him. Rogers was the cut guy for many professional boxers. Thomas Morrison, Tommy Morrison, and uh, who else? Uh, Jermaine, and several other. Uh, Irene Barkley. Barkley. Yes, Irene Barkley. He also held the Golden and Silver Glove Championships here in Arkansas. And in 2007, he was inducted into the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. Everybody know Ray Rogers. Right? Maybe Ray Rogers was, was, was man. He, he was like uh, right under Bill Clinton. <laughs> you know, so. Andrew Metters says he will do whatever it takes to keep Rogers' legacy alive. He's just happy to have known him and, and to know he's my friend. And a lot of the things that I've learned from him as my mentor and elder to me, I want to keep them alive and pass those thoughts and those lessons on to others. All of the men I spoke with say they will never forget his one-liners or his zingers, as they like to say, and that Rogers was the glue here in Arkansas for amateur boxing. Reporting in studio, I'm Riley Birdwell. Back to you guys. Yeah, he will be missed. He would close up those cuts like glue, too. Right. Yeah, that is for sure.